He's experiencing a far better adoption rate than the other subjects. I'm still pulling him out. He's been in there way too long. No, not yet. We're still so far from where we need to be. We shouldn't risk it. What's another hour or two? Why don't we discuss this in the conference room? Give Desmond a minute to stretch his legs. I, I really don't see the need. Warren, please. Fine. See ya, Doc. Alright, so we're out of the Animus. That's good. Booey! Hey. What are you doing in there? Man, I can't even change my clothes. <laughs> you wear the same clothes no matter what, I bet. That didn't sound good, but also good at the same time. Hi. We're done for today, Mr. Miles. I suggest you return to your room and get some rest. I want to walk in there. Nope, it's an out-of-bounds area. Sadly, we don't get to go out there. <laughs> Abstergo Industries. I la la say. Can I talk to you? So you're really an assassin? Like oh, Antonio? Yeah. Yes and no. Yes, I am. Shut up, I Desmond. was supposed to be one, but I ran away from the farm when I was 16. Shut up, Desmond. Farm? Yeah, that's what they call the place where I grew up. The farm. Like Masayev, I guess. Only not so, uh, creepy. Masayev? Just a small community in the middle of nowhere. About 30 of us living, you know, off the grid. Why? Thought my parents were just crazy hippies trying to stick it to the man, you know? Huh? My dad was always going on about our enemies, how they'd be looking for us, how we'd have to be prepared. No one ever came. Nothing ever happened. Why'd you run away? I could never leave the compound. You have any idea what it feels like being trapped in a place, knowing there was a whole world out there I'd never get to see? Don't you miss your parents? No. As far as I'm concerned, they weren't my parents. They were my wardens, and I was their prisoner. It sounds like they only wanted to protect you. With all that's happened, I don't know. I guess they were right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to dredge up the past. It's all right. Gives me something to think about. Try and get some sleep. We've got a long day ahead of us tomorrow. Is that the end? I've got a question for you before I turn in. Sure. How did they find me? I mean, I haven't been anywhere near another assassin for ten years. Use your real name? Nope. Not before today. Credit cards? Cash only. Telephone? <laughs> it's no one to call. Driver's license? Motorcycle. Guilty pleasure. There's your answer. Photo? Fingerprint. This is a drug company. What does Abstergo have to do with the DMV? Desmond, these guys are everywhere. They... I... 
I'm sorry, I, I really can't talk about it. Camera. Can I hop in the animus? And talk to you again? Nope! I didn't actually know you could talk to them. I used to go to bed all the time. Just so I could continue. Now I know you can talk to them! Okay! That's gonna, like, do something. Damn it, they locked the door. Damn it, they locked the door. Okay, let's see what we can do in our room. We can go to bed. That automatically goes to the next day. Can I have a shower? Can't do anything. Got it. Let's just go to bed, Desmond. Bed he buys. Oh, I have to go onto the one side of the bed. Whoa. The following morning. Whoa. Uh, gotta say, that's a little creepy, Doc. Waking up to you standing over me. You've been watching me sleep? We're always watching you. Now get up. We've got a lot of work to do. Ooh, wonder who I get to kill today. Don't be so cavalier. Your ancestors almost had the right idea, Mr. Miles. If the deaths of a few people, evil people, no less, could save the lives of thousands more, well... It seems a small sacrifice. What do you mean, almost? They didn't go far enough. To use a rather tired analogy, corruption is no different than cancer. Cut out the tumors, but fail to treat the source and... Well, you're buying time at best. There's no true change to be had without comprehensive, systemic intervention. Chemo for the masses. Education. Re-education, to be more precise. But it's not easy, and it doesn't always take. Let me guess. You've got a better solution. What is it, then? <laughs> now that would be telling. <laughs> okay, I'm changing positions every time I do that. It's annoying. I'm, I want to stay looking forward. But now he keeps on looking at the camera every time I use eagle, whatever. Well, head. Not eagle vision yet. Spoilers. <laughs> Can I talk to you, Lucy? Again? No, I can't. Can I talk to Mr. Douchebag here? Whatever your name is, I forgot. Uh, come on. There. Nope. Fine. What are you looking at? Who's that? I can't read that. Sit down, please. Oh, fine. Wish there was a run button in real life. Free running to escape from a fight when exposed. All oh, right, we're dead, Spread aren't we? To lose your enemies. Oh. I am alive, but I saw you stab me. Felt death's embrace. You saw what I wanted you to see. And Magic you slept the sleep of the dead, of the womb, that you might awake and be reborn. To what end? Do you remember Altair? What it is the assassin fight for? Peace. In all things. Yes, in all things. It is not enough to end the violence one man commits upon another. It refers to peace within as well. You cannot have one without the other. So it is said. So it is! But you, my son, have not found inner peace. It manifests in ugly ways. You are arrogant and overconfident. Were you not the one to say that nothing is true and everything is permitted? You do not understand the true meaning of the phrase, my child. It does not grant you the freedom to do as you wish. It is a knowledge meant to guide your senses. It expects a wisdom you clearly lack. Then what is to become of me? I should kill you for the pain you've brought upon us. 
Alec thinks it only fair. Your life in exchange for his brother's. But this would be a waste of my time and your talents. You'll see you have been stripped of your positions. Your rank as well. You are a novice. A child once more. As you were on the day you first joined our order. I am offering you a chance at redemption. You'll earn your way back into the Brotherhood. I assume you've something planned. First, you must prove to me you remember how to be an assassin. So you'd have me take a life? No. Not yet, at least. For now, you're to become a student once again. There is no need for this. Others tracked your targets for you, but no more. From today on, you will track them yourself. If this is what you wish. It is. Then tell me what it is that I must do. We have been betrayed. Someone was assisting Robert de Sable. One of our own. You must find him and bring him here for questioning. What can you tell me of the traitor? Ah, but that's just it. I've given you all I will. The rest is up to you. All you will. Not all you can, you... Well, I mean, I'm the one who... Demurred! Weapon lost, sword. Weapon lost, tinder blade. You mean demurred? Weapon lost, short blade. Ab ability lost, counter kills. Weapon lost, throwing knives. I forgot how to counter kill. It was, uh, yeah. Ability lost, tackle, catch ledge, grab, break. Um, ability lost, regain balance. Ability lost, dodge, weapon lost, extra throwing knives. Ability lost, defense break, short blade, expertise, damage. Sword expertise, damage. Yup! I somehow forgot to use these abilities because losing my rank means I forget my memory. Must be running. Hi. Safety and peace, Altair. You. You're in my way. Yes, Al Muallim has asked that I assist you. Remind you how it is we hunt our prey. I know how it works. Be that as it may, I have no desire to disobey. Then be quick. The Assassin have many tools at their disposal. Yes, yes. We can eavesdrop, we can pickpocket. Or we can use violence to intimidate. Good, you remember. So you'd have me walk amongst the others and learn what I can about the traitor? Yes. Begin by going to the village market. That's where we first spotted the traitor. You know who it is? Perhaps. Then give me a name and let's be done with it. That's not the way it works. Now go. And remember, begin your search in the village market. You are a bitch. Tell me who it is. Fine, let's go. He's going to hurt someone. I'm not going to hurt anyone. Marcia is a pretty big place, though it's not the biggest place. It's like what Desmond was talking about—a pretty small place, but a lot of people. Hi. Right. Okay, sit on him. I know what I saw. Musul opened the gate. He let the Templars in. Then you must tell Al Muallim. I can't. Masoon did not act alone. Someone inside the fortress helped him. What makes you say this? He exchanges letters with someone inside. The basket weaver carries them for him. That's no reason to stay silent. Ah, but the weaver delivered him a letter just before the attack. I suspect it held the order to open the gate. Then speak to the weaver. He can name Masoon's accomplice. He's disappeared. Hiding for fear of being dragged into this. <laughs> Probably inside one of